everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and review Kaspersky Antivirus 2009, uh, also known as version 8. Uh, a link was sent to me from somebody on YouTube, so thanks. I, I forgot what your name was. Anyway, this is a highly infected PC. You guys all, most of you guys already know that. Uh, you can see all the fake antivirus that's popped up here, like Virus Heat, uh, PC Privacy Cleaner, um, you know, little executables called B.exe that, that you know that are crashing. Uh, fake system alerts down here. Um, you know, a fake uh, Windows XP Security Center. So we're going to go ahead and try to clean this off with something that I'm really excited to test, and that's going to be Kaspersky Antivirus 2009. So let's go ahead and start the install here. I'm really excited about Kaspersky uh, Antivirus 2009. I'm hoping this can be something I can promote, because right now all I'm promoting is Spyware Doctor with Antivirus. That's the only one that's really worked out well for me this year, and that's the only one I'm using for my business in St. Louis. I work on home computers all day long, so. <clears throat> Always looking for something reliable. Doing the uh, installation right now. My network card is disabled at this point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and enable it in a second so we can activate our trial and update uh, Kaspersky Antivirus Also, people keep wondering why I'm using Internet Explorer. Um, I like to tell people that the real world, uh, the world of people that are like, you know, nurses and lawyers and you know, accountants, they, they don't, they don't get into all the geek stuff. They're not, they're not. Most of 90% of them don't even know what Firefox is. You know, 50% don't even know what a browser is when I say it. So, uh, I use what the general public is using during my testing. So I hope that answers that question. I have a lot of history with Kaspersky. It's, uh, I used it the first few years I started my business. Um, it's done fairly well. Cost a few bucks, but it really kind of kept people clean for a long time. I'll uh, I'll install pay, paid antivirus uh, anytime the household has a whole bunch of kids in it. You know, anytime you need maximum protection, sometimes you gotta go with the um, the paid stuff. I know there's a lot of Avast and AVG people out there, and I use that a lot more than I use the paid antivirus, but sometimes those just don't cut it and you need something a little bit more there. I would test AVG on this box, but it won't even install. So uh, I tested Avast, it did all right. Um, but like all, almost all of these things, they never get rid of the adware. I don't know what the deal is there. Anyway, we need to proceed to activation now. So I'm going to kick out my network card. Let me get an IP address here. Okay. We're going to activate a trial version. Uh oh, it says code activation procedure failed. Bummer. Uh, 
Well, this sucks. Maybe they'll let me activate it through here. Download a key. Oh, these guys suck. Oh, here we go. Sweet. So, I'm basically participating in Kaspersky's little, you know, uh, security network. So, I'll send them statistics. They're going to definitely get a lot from me. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Um, okay, so I can't let this video go over 10 minutes because it's stupid YouTube. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back and update and start a scan. Whoops, be right back.